When it comes to the PlayStation 5 and the Xbox Scarlet, there's been one glaring hole that a lot of gamers are wondering about. And that's what the launch lineup for these consoles will be. Which games and which franchises will be brought to life when these new consoles come next year. But for the most part, both Microsoft and Sony have been very quiet with the games that will be launching, minus Xbox saying that Halo Infinite will be a launch title for the Xbox Scarlet, and there really hasn't been any type of information regarding what the new games will be. Now as a gamer, that doesn't worry me, but instead it brings this shroud of mystery surrounding the new consoles, and also the events leading to the launch of the consoles. Events like E3 and XO19. Yet, the last couple of days there's been a lot of information regarding launch titles and what we should expect from these new consoles. Sony has come out and talked about their PlayStation 5 launch titles and it's something I wanted to talk about because these games to me are extremely important to what a console can bring. So let's get into the article and discuss which games I think might be launching with the console. But before we dive into that, if you like the video please hit that subscribe button and that like button, the support is greatly appreciated. So let's dive into what Sony themselves have said about the launch lineup for the PlayStation 5. In a recent article by Push Square, they talk about what some executives of Sony said about the PlayStation launch lineup. Not only that, but they talk about why they think their PlayStation 5 system will be a success. Here's what the article says. Breaking news, Sony thinks its next console will be a success. Speaking during the company's latest financial briefing, recently appointed CFO Hiroki Totoki commented on the PlayStation 5. Naturally, the firm's expecting the next-gen system to be a hit once it launches late next year. Totoki's juicier comment is about the PlayStation 5's software lineup. According to Wall Street Journal writer Takashi Mochizuki, Totoki stated that both Sony's first-party studios and third parties are lining up next-gen titles that will satisfy game fans. Okay, so it's not the biggest scoop, but any talk of PlayStation 5 games is enough to stir up some excitement. Like the article says, this isn't the biggest news, but it does show that Sony is very confident in their launch lineup for the PlayStation 5, and maybe, just maybe, this will set them apart from the competition. Because so far this generation, that's been Sony's strongest point. They've provided unique gaming experiences to their fan base, and high quality gaming experiences that a lot of people love. Games like God of War, Uncharted 4, and of course, Spider-Man. But that does beg the questions, what games can we expect to see on the launch lineup? Well, the first one that comes to my mind is Ghost of Tsushima, which is going to be on the PlayStation 4 system also. But after seeing The Last of Us 2 get pushed back several months, one has to wonder when the next Sony exclusive game is going to launch. The article even indicates this when they talk about both games. Indeed, we can't wait to see what the PlayStation 5 launch lineup looks like. It has the potential to be one of the best selections we've seen, with many expecting the likes of The Last of Us 2 and Ghost of Tsushima to release as cross-gen titles titles alongside brand new games. Of course the PS5 is also going to be backwards compatible with the PS4 software, which should immediately give the console access to a huge library. Now, I don't agree with the statement when they say that the PlayStation 5 could potentially have the best selections we've ever seen. Instead, I would say that a lot of the games we've seen come from Sony will help lift their next generation, not to mention some of the unannounced games we haven't seen. But I do have to say that Ghost of Tsushima is probably going to be one of the marquee titles that launches with the new system. That means it will go head to head with Halo Infinite and be the direct competition with the Xbox Scarlet launch titles. But that's not the only game I think has the potential to launch with a PS5. Now I don't think this one game I'm about to talk about is a game that will directly launch day and date with the PS5 Holiday 2020. But I do think it can be a game that launches very early 2021, which is going to basically be a launch title for the console. And that game is Horizon Zero Dawn 2. Now Horizon Zero Dawn was one of the best new IPs that launched this generation. It was a game that a lot of gamers stood behind and told the rest of the industry, this is the type of game we want. Huge games with amazing graphics and great gameplay. Not to mention something new that changes the way we look at gaming and maybe brings in a new franchise to the fold. I bring this game up because recently from a job listing, Guerrilla Games posted that they are basically working on the New Horizon game. Here's what the article says about the job listing. 
The Amsterdam-based creator of Killzone series recently posted a vacancy for a technical vegetation artist, which would focus on the creation of vegetation assets that are used to dress the game world. The listing explains that within Gorilla, we have four teams dedicated to creating the stunning environments of Horizon, and one team focuses on the creation of lush and stunning vegetation. With this new job title, it's obvious that the studio is confirming that the new Horizon game is right around the corner. Not to mention that they're working on it, and of course they are! It's one of the most successful games for the PlayStation 4 platform this entire generation, but what grabs my attention about this article and job listing the most is what else is said in the article. Here's what they hint at. It's no surprise that Horizon Zero Dawn 2 is in the works at Guerrilla, but it's entirely possible that the project is being targeted as a PS5 launch game when that next-gen console releases next year. Indeed, actress Janina Gayankar, who played Tatai in the original Horizon, accidentally made mention of the sequel earlier this year, while some of Guerrilla's developers have been teasing an impending announcement on their personal Twitter profiles. Not only do they mention the game is basically confirmed, but they even hint that this might be a launch game for the PlayStation 5. Now, of course, we know that would put the game at about three years of development, and if they even go to early 2021, that would put the game at almost four years of development time. That, to me, is plenty of time for them to have the game polished and ready for the launch of the PlayStation 5. But things can change, and like we've seen with plenty of games, things can change and the timetable can change drastically. But for now, it would seem that a lot of people, including some of the insiders, think that Horizon 2 will be a game that is launching with the PlayStation 5. And as for what I think, I'm going to have to say that Ghost of Tsushima is going to be the one launch title we can almost bank on. Because this is going to be one of the top exclusive games coming for Sony, and it will be in great position to launch with the PS5. Especially since it's a game that's been worked on for several years and has been announced by Sony over two years ago. While it will be on the PS4, that still doesn't hold it back from being a great launch title for a new console. As for Horizon Zero Dawn 2, I think that game is almost certain to be a game to come out early 2021 because the timetable of development fits perfectly with the PlayStation 5 launch. Will it launch with the console? Who knows? Only time will tell, but again, I think it's going to be something announced at E3 and a game that will launch a few months after the PS5 comes out. But I'm glad both companies are giving us little hints about what games will be coming out for the consoles because it shows that they both want to bring out the best lineup possible. Yet so far, all we know is that Halo Infinite is the main launch title coming out. So let's hope in the next few months and at E3 2020, we will get a much clearer picture for both of these brand new consoles. But enough about what I think, tell me what you think about all of this. Is Ghost of Tsushima a big enough title to compete with Halo Infinite? Do you think Horizon Zero Dawn is going to launch with the PS5 console? What other franchises do you think will come with the new consoles? Which lineup looks more promising to you, Xbox or PlayStation 5? What would be your perfect launch lineup for both companies? Go down below and let me know. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please hit that subscribe button and that like button. The support helps the channel out more than you know. And give me a follow on Twitter, at Zalker87. I'm always on there talking games and sharing my latest videos. And also follow me on Mixer. I recently started streaming on Mixer because I find the community much more engaging and fun. So if you want to hang out and chat with me, I'm very active with my chat and always playing games. The link will be in the description. I'll hope to see you guys there. And that's all for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time, remember, enjoy your gaming. Later.